All right, you guys, this workout is by your request. So I'm so glad to bring this one. I'm excited to um, let you know that there are absolute ways that we can work on certain areas of our body, but it's also very important that we know that we have to have a very clean diet, especially in the core section. So this is for our lower pooch. This has been a request from you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my top four exercises to do. I love to do higher reps, and so we're gonna do them each for 30 seconds. And then after we do all four, then we can have a rest for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and dive into it. My favorite is using a band for some resistance. It's just such a great way to add a little bit more challenging into these type of exercises, especially in that lower pooch. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. The first one is called dead bug. So just place your booty band up on top of your, on, around your thighs and lay down. From here, the trick is you wanna make sure that your knees are right up over your hips. This is cheating. So when you bring your knees all the way to your chest, then you've lost the, the um, the tension that you want to be able to have in your lower core so that we can keep that tension, feel that nice, good, uh, strong foundation that we can build here today with these exercises. So dead bug, you're going to place both hands up into the air, both legs into the air, and I want you to slowly kind of play with this movement as you bring those knees further and further and further away from you. And as you just keep that going, you're going to feel a nice, good warmth sensation, but you want to try to make sure your lower back doesn't lift up off the mat. So if it does, you just bring those knees slowly back in so that you can keep the focus all here in that lower pooch section. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. So just bring those legs out. Good challenge at lower core. And then back in. As you notice, this is very small movements. So I'm talking it's only probably about a few inches out. And then we'll do a few inches in. Good. Now we're going to bring the arms out too. So as the arms go out, the legs go out, challenge yourself. You might feel a little shaky here, which is great. And then bring it back in, but not all the way in. Still keep that nice, good tension there. Bring it out. Good. Beautiful work. The next exercise we're gonna go into is the reverse crunch. So I like to place my hands right underneath my bootay, and then I like to cross my ankles. And we got 30 seconds here as a reverse crunch. You're just gonna tap your heels, and I like to do a little lift up in my reverse crunch. So tap the heels down to the earth, and pop it up towards the sky. Here we go, 30 seconds. Making it a little bit more challenging, you can straighten those legs out a little bit more. You can even cross over the other side of your ankles. Beautiful. Next exercise is going to be the bicycle. So taking your booty band and placing it around the soles of your feet. From here, you can just cradle your head, but what I like to do is just keep it so that um, everything's open, so my elbows are open, and I'm not straining my neck up. I only lift with my chest up. So as you slightly lift, you're gonna twist your elbow towards the opposite knee, keeping the chest lifted, switch to the other side. We have 30 seconds. really push and pull against that band. Oh my goodness, feeling it nice and warm through there. Great work, you can place your booty band up again onto your legs. As we go into our next exercise, last one here is our plank alternating toe to or ankle touch. So find yourself in your plank, keeping your core nice and tight. How to do that, you just press your belly button up towards your spine. From here, we're just gonna touch the opposite ankle as we come back down and then alternate to the other side. We have a total of 30 seconds. Here we go.
great work. Then you rest for 30 seconds. And if you're a beginner, you can go ahead and repeat this another time. If you're a little more advanced, you can go ahead and try to repeat it two more times. So great work. Always keep in mind that you want a very clean diet. If you're also trying to get into this lower pooch area, the lower pooch area is also sometimes hormonal. And hormonal can also come from if you're not sleeping enough, um, if, you're, if your cortisol is too high, so meaning your stress is too much. So finding ways to also add balance, meditation, um, relaxation, taking that time for you is very, very important as well. So believe it or not, yes, hormonal does plays a huge to why that can develop into more of a pooch. And so making sure that we're really taking care of ourselves as a whole, not just doing exercises, we need to have an all encompassed, very healthy way of living. So see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Click the link below to join us in the app where you're able to join full workouts like this and also a whole lot more. I'll see you in the app. Go ahead and click the link below. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.